Well, good afternoon from Central Texas. Did take a quick video of this new little uh, three-point implement I got. It's an actual root plow from Johnson Manufacturing. It's used, of course. Picked this up uh, here recently. It's got a little needs a little love, obviously. Um, I'm hitting it here this evening with a grinder. Um, new ones about I think it's, I got quoted fifteen hundred a year ago, and. Uh, they're probably closer to 16, 1700, maybe even higher now. Just that steel on this thing. And the theory is you can get, uh, you drop that down, cuts into the ground, and you go uh, over like a mosquito, you know, a smaller one, and you know, just cut underneath that tap root. And uh, I tried it out yesterday. The cutting blade's a little dull, but uh, I've been hitting it with a grinder. I want to get it like a razor blade, so that'll definitely help. But uh, it did pretty good on these smaller ones. Um, still kind of per perfecting my technique a little bit. I think I can get some bigger mesquites with this thing. And uh, if I go alongside them and cut the tap roots, you know, or the runners out here, because again, the mesquites out here, uh, the roots go from the root ball. They go lateral, not vertical. So it'll be easier cutting those. And then I can get underneath there with a bucket and get these. Of these big ones i'm not taking out a whole lot this is more for just maintaining pasture and so forth and i'm walking around here a little bit i'll show the back of it um if you look here on the side got to thinking i can unbolt that cutting edge you know probably even replace it if i need to but i'm also looking at i might even be able to put some shanks on the side and actually use this as a subsoiler you know, drop them down so get some pretty heavy duty shanks and uh, do something like that with this implement. But again, it needs a little love. I'm gonna get this all, I gotta get some more wire brushes for my um, grinder there and really hit this hard. I was hitting it with a, you know, flat there and uh, grinding grinding disc and uh, did okay, but it's, I need a couple more discs. I, I think a wire brush might do a little bit better. I've been doing a couple of, with a hand brush over there these tight spots where I can't get the grinder in I did notice I didn't notice at the time it looks like they fractured they must have hit something right there and they did a kind of a shitty weld job get it back but uh, I'm hitting it with a grinder um, I'm gonna have this thing again just like a razor blade at that edge I think that'll definitely help these uh, they're rusted but uh, you know the bolts and so forth but uh, I think I can get them, you know, they're they're still doable. They're not bent or anything like that. I don't like I'm corroded like that, but I'm going to hit this real good with primer, let it set, and then I've got some good implement paint. I'm trying to still picture, a, you know, what color I want to do on this one. Probably white, possibly red. Anyway, I've got some blue too, you know, Ford blue, uh, Ford red, and i got some white. Um, <clears throat> I think they'll look pretty nice, but... Uh, yeah, I'm happy to get this thing. I got it for about half price of what a new one would go. So, yeah, you can't beat that. So it pays to shop around. Anyways, good afternoon.